Hello everybody, I hope you're well. My name is Titi Mba and I am the founder and CEO of two companies, the first being Black Real Estate and the second being um, Zanzi Cribs. Now the difference between Zanzi Cribs and Black Real Estate is that um, Black Real Estate looks after the commercial and the industrial side of the business, whilst um, Zanzi Cribs looks after the residential side of the business. So. Both companies um, operate um, separately, um, independently of each other. But of course, I've managed to create a, an association between, between both brands. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am a real estate marketer. I am a qualified master practitioner in real estate. I am a principal of um, Zanzi Cribs. Um, and so we operate in the residential space under the Zanzi Cribs banner and operate in the industrial and the commercial space under the black real estate um, banner. So we are qualified um, as property practitioners, master practitioners, um, and are part of the estate agency affairs board. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Mzanti Cribs Makeover TV show, the upcoming Mzanti Cribs uh, Makeover TV show, which um, is um, of course, sponsored by Private Property. Private Property are one of the, the sponsors of the TV show, alongside um, our insurance and builders. So we've managed to kind of, you know, bring like-minded brands that are operating in the real estate space um, and that are respected as brands in their own rights. So we've got our insurance, we've got builders, and of course, Private Property, who have decided to come on board um, as a sponsor and partner towards this. Now, what is the Mzanzi Cribs makeover show? I'll tell you more about that just now. So I want to talk more about who I am um, and where I'm, I, I come from. I was born and raised in Pimville. Um, and like I said, I'm a real estate marketer. My background is actually marketing. Um, and if you follow me on social media, you'll see that uh, my, my handle is Titimba. You're more than welcome to, to follow that page. But um, I'm not here to talk about myself. I'm here to talk about the brand Mzanzi Cribs, which is a real estate life, lifestyle brand. Um, it currently has about 175,000 followers on Instagram. It's quite an interesting page. It's a page that is basically designed as an aspirational lifestyle and real estate brand that showcases fine homes and lifestyles in an authentic, engaging, and very accessible manner. So the Mzanzi Crib uh, platform enjoys a high level of engagement with its audiences, and the association with Titimba, being me and my personal brand, further enhan enhances the conversation and interaction. So people cannot separate the Mzanzi Cribs brand to the Titimba brand. And rightfully so, because, I mean, I founded the Mzanzi Cribs brand. Um, the, the, the followers can access content not only to find property to buy, but also to inspire their dreams about transforming their lives and, of course, their homes. And that's what the, 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 the brand represents. And... I'd like us to talk about what the Mzanti Cribs Makeover Show is about. So it's a concept that I created probably um, about five years ago, around 2015. And I obviously looked at how many international shows are being flighted um, on different channels about um, home makeovers. I'm sure you guys would know the Extreme Home Makeover Show. Um, there's quite a lot of makeover shows um, um, internationally that I'm sure most of you have been exposed to or have seen. Now, in Africa, we've never had a makeover show. Well, not that I've been exposed to. And more so coming closer to home, we've never had a, a show, a makeover show, a home makeover show in South Africa. Um, we've had a little bit of this and that in terms of people trying to do uh, small anyana um, makeover shows. However, we've never had one of this magnitude that we are about to bring to um, the Mzanzi Shores. And of course, private property being one of the sponsors, you know, um, private property is all about um, your space, your rules. And this particular show um, is exactly about that. So it is a 24 um, minute show, uh, 20, well, 30 minutes, but for, from a broadcast point of view, they, 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 they would say 24 minutes because the other six minutes is dedicated to, to ad space. It's going to flight on a channel called Mzanzi Magic which is on DSTV channel 161. Now, the show is going to obviously flight over 13 weeks. So we've got 13 episodes of, of, 
of great content that we've lined up. Um, and basically, just to give you more about what the content is going to uh, reflect, um, I just want to play this clip, this uh, call to action video for you guys, just to get an idea of what the show is actually about. Make a fellow South African's house the talk of town and watch Abu Make queue up for invites. The sooner we do this, the better. When you surprise them with a home makeover on the brand new show that turns ordinary rooms into extraordinary spaces. Something amazing did happen. Record a 60 second video telling us who you're nominating and why. Then send a WhatsApp to 060 391 0018. Zanta Cribs Makeover, proudly sponsored by our insurance. So that's the call to action promo that has been um, doing the rounds on social media, um, on TV and all the um, mediums um, that we've been able to expose it to. Uh, basically, the idea of the show is that someone needs to nominate someone who is deserving of a break in life. Now, the, 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 the content itself is, is obviously about introducing you know, to extraordinary characters, people that are relatable. Um, one room makeover guided by experts, the Mzanti Cribs style. We want people to be inspired. You know, we'll, we'll be providing insider knowledge and advice around all aspects of renovation, teaching people how to learn new tricks, of course. And of course, our trends, uh, I got involved here because they want to drive the home. Um, they want to drive home, rather, the message of protecting what you have created. Uh, through appropriate risk uh, products, you know, um, and that obviously talks to being informed. We want our viewers to always be informed about what's happening. And of course, private property are there to provide the property value knowledge of your space, your rules. And of course, Builders Warehouse are there to provide us with the materials needed for the actual makeover. So the makeover itself um, is about knowing your stuff. We are actually looking at creating... Um, a premise that is um, quite relatable. It's a South African story of people doing good for others. You know, um, COVID-19 has taught us um, to be kind to each other, to be selfless, and to always think about others um, before ourselves. And I think this is the kind of show that will resonate with a lot of South Africans because here's an opportunity for me as a South African to actually um, be selfless and think about others first. So you have an opportunity to either nominate your your sibling, your your mother, your parent, your relative, your colleague, your neighbor, or someone who's just done good in the community. Give that person a break of having the opportunity of um, getting a makeover that is worth 50,000 Rand. So the makeover cost will be 50,000 Rand for 13 people, 30 lucky contestants who stand a very strong chance of um, being nominated and obviously being selected as the 13 to win this makeover. And the nice thing about this makeover is that we do not dictate which space you would like to uh, make over. It could be the kitchen, it could be the lounge, it could be the bedroom, it could be the bathroom, it could be the garden. You get to uh, nominate that person and that person will obviously decide which space they, they would like to have um, made over. Now, 50,000 Rand can get your home your pride and joy, the revamp it deserves in just three days. So my team and I, my dream team, my makeover dream team and I will go in there, look at the space that needs to be renovated and we will promise to uphold or to make sure that that renovation happens within 72 hours. So it's pressure on us as a team. It's pressure on you because we need to be in there and out. So that's basically the premise of the show. In each episode, a neighbor, a friend, colleague, or family member nominates someone who needs a pick-me-up. They must motivate why this person deserves the 50k um, room makeover. State how this will change their lives for the better. And as you saw in that video, we want people that are engaging, we want stories that are proudly South African and truly resonate with the spirit of Ubuntu. We are looking for individuals who are loved by their communities, people who use the little that they have, to benefit the broader and the greater good of the community. Selfless leaders. Those are the kind of people that we want to, to have on, on to the show. Um, the lucky recipient and their family will work with the Mzanti Cribs makeover team to create a functional and beautiful space. Of course, like I said earlier on, we're working against pressure. The aim is to deliver an amazing product. 
against the backdrop of, of course, the much fanfare. And the makeover is obviously really revealed to the loved ones. So they will also get to be a part of the show. We want them to be a part of the makeover process. We want them, we're not going to ask them to kind of leave and get away. We want them to be there. We want them to be hands-on because we want them to own the process of um, the actual makeover. We want them to feel like they were a big part of it. Yes, other shows that are similar to this will take... Um, the recipients away and they'll come back and there'll be a surprise reveal. There'll be a small element of that, but we actually want them to be quite involved. And of course, the idea is obviously for them to be happy. And in the end, the outtake is thank you, Mzansi Magic. Thank you, Outsurance. Thank you, Private Property. Thank you, Builders Warehouse for changing my life. We are embarking on changing people's lives. So the story, the story arcs in terms of the show itself, there'll be the human element. You know, we, we begin with the backstory of who is this human being. We need a compelling backstory that creates an immediate emotional hook, you know. So we want to make sure that those candidates are relatable. And of course, the need. Why is this makeover important to them? You know, our needs, real and perceived, are universal and quite relatable. Here's an opportunity for us to present a full, inclusive cast of individuals that are selected from a broad range of needs. And, and each, each viewer will find something that they can relate to so when you're watching this you'll be able to pull on people's heartstrings you know show how we care about those in need our communities at large and those in need and those that obviously are very instrumental in uplifting the communities at large of course the end of it all is that we fulfill that need you know what does this mean for them now that we've done that beyond the functionality of the space itself how will this change their lives for the better um, and of course, like I said earlier on, we've gone online, we've gone everywhere in terms of our social media platforms to promote this. Currently, we're sitting at more than 4,000 entries. It's a lot of entries, which means the show will resonate with a lot of people who just want to do good for others. Um, and of course, then the dynamic development process obviously begins with the dream of creating a practical and philosophical um, platform for each viewer has an idea what they would do about it you know and then the middle obviously is a deadline the 72 hours that we've got to kind of get in there mess the place up and fix it you know and of course involving family and friends neighbors um to help us reveal and make sure that the space becomes what um was envisaged envisaged by the the the, the recipient and of course, we want drama. We want to see things breaking. We want to see the process of us breaking walls. Um, and of course, the dramatic conversations that happen of people stressing. There's deadlines involved. So this show is quite um, high-paced. And of course, like I said earlier on, if you look at shows like the Extreme um, Home Makeover Edition in the US, um, Kitchen, Kitchen Crushes also is another show that we've used as a reference. And of course, this show will be called The Mzanzi Cribs um, and Makeover. Um it is quite an exciting show. Um, um, it is a fulfilling show. It is a show that is designed to change lives for the better and show the spirit, the human spirit of Ubuntu. Now, in terms of the people that will be watching at the target market, of course, we are targeting families. Our content is suitable for all ages, featuring heartwarming, intimate and shareable moments. Um, reality TV fans who want to see, you know, crises, the hilarity and the drama unfold. We're looking at viewers that love to see feel-good human interest stories um, where good, the good guy catches a big break. That's what um, the show is about. We're looking to you know, target inspiration seekers, people who are aspirational renovators looking for tips, tricks and ideas for their own personal homes beyond the show. So you might not necessarily win, but you might get an opportunity to understand how you can do it yourself to create your, your, your space, your rules, your taste. Um, and of course, the nominees, families and communities, you know, these are people who have witnessed their good works and sacrifices and will go to see them being rewarded in a fabulous style on TV. That's um, the Mzanza Cribs makeover, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that um, you will also engage with the show. You will also expose other people who um, might not necessarily know much about the show that has an opportunity for you to nominate someone who is deserving of a break in life. Um, where we go into their space and we look at their rules and we create something that is memorable for years to come, adding value to their property asset and also having fun whilst doing that. Changing people's lives one makeover at a time. I thank you.